Hello, my friends. It is now Friday, the first week of Lent, and the title for our devotion today is A Little Lunch Makes a Big Dinner. Hmm. Well, let's take our Bibles to Luke 9 so that we can read 10 through 17 together. I have a feeling that'll help us clear up this A Little Lunch Makes a Big Dinner title. I think it'll help us. So go ahead, press pause, get yourself all set up, and when you're ready, let's read Luke 9, 10 through 17 together, okay? Now, if you don't have access to a Bible right now, like let's say that you're listening to this on your drive to school or you're listening to this on your drive home from practice, no problem. I'm about to read it for us. So Luke 9, 10 through 17 says this. On their return, the apostles told him all that they had done, and he took them and withdrew apart to a town called Bethsaida. When the crowds learned it, they followed him. They wanted to follow Jesus. And he welcomed them and spoke to them of the kingdom of God and cured those who had need of healing. Now the day began to wear away and the 12 came to him and said, send the people away to go into the surrounding villages and countryside to find a lodging. Oh, they were concerned about where they might sleep and get provisions for we are here in a desolate place. But he, Jesus, said to them, you give them something to eat. They said, we have no more than five loaves and two fish, unless we are to go and buy food for all these people. You see, there were about 5,000 men there. And he said to the disciples, have them sit down in groups of about 50. And they did so, and all of them sat down. And taking the five loaves and two fish, he looked up to heaven and said a blessing over them. And he broke the loaves and gave them to the disciples and set them before the crowd. And they all ate and were satisfied. They didn't just have enough to, to be a little less hungry. No, they ate enough to be satisfied. And what was left over was picked up. Twelve baskets of broken pieces. So five loaves, two fish. Everybody ate and there were 12 baskets left over. Wow, oh my goodness. That is definitely a little lunch that made a big dinner, isn't it? Okay, let's keep going. Jesus had been helping sick people all day. The people loved to be with Jesus. Even when it started to get dark, the people didn't wanna go home. Jesus said, we need to give these people something to eat. Well, the disciples, yes, they found one little boy who had brought his lunch, five loaves of bread and two fish. Jesus blessed the food and broke it into pieces. The disciples gave over 5,000 people bread and fish. They never ran out. Everybody ate until they were full. And the disciples, well, it was time to clean up. And the leftovers filled 12 baskets. Jesus loved the people so much and he didn't want them to be hungry. He turned a little boy's lunch into a big miracle. Let's pray. Jesus, thank you for good things to eat. Bless the small things we can do to share your huge love. In your name we pray, amen. Amen. I wonder what we'll add to our mobile today. I wonder what our, our disc will be. Should I show you? It looks like a little lunch, doesn't it? Yeah, well, it's not the fish and loaves that we learned about in our Bible narrative for today, this true Bible event, but it does look like a lunch to us, doesn't it? All right, friends. Well, I am going to meet you right back here tomorrow, and I am already so excited. I wonder what we'll have tomorrow. Bye, friends.